James Holmes, the 24-year-old suspect in the mass shooting at that Colorado movie theater, is scheduled to go to court Monday morning. So what potentially is ahead for him legally? Let's bring in our legal guys. They're always the best to ask. Avery Friedman, a civil rights attorney and law professor in Cleveland. Good to see you. And Richard Hi, Herman, Rodrika. a New York criminal defense attorney and law professor, joining us from Austin, Texas. Good to see you as well. Hi, Fred. Uh, all right, gentlemen. So, Richard, we're talking about James right. Holmes, a suspect, making his way into court for the first time come Monday. He'll be looking at or facing uh, local, you know, charges, but we've got federal authorities who are on the ground as well. Uh, what do you see in terms of the potential uh, of the, the legal avenue that he's going to be going down? Well, first of all, what a somber day and a day for reflection, Fred, and CNN is just doing a wonderful job of coverage on this case. When this man walks into court Monday, I don't know if he, know, if he knows where he's going to be or where his stage is in life. This man is facing the end of his life. Now, whether or not they're going to be able to come up with any sort of mental defect or incapacity or mental illness, I don't know. But as you just touched on with my buddy Mike Brooks earlier, there was a lot of time and effort and planning that went into this. And that's really going to take him out of the realm of any sort of insanity deal. Mm. So this man looks like he's going to go to trial eventually on this case and uh, he'll die in prison. That's about what's going to happen here. And apparently he has already uh, obtained an attorney. We understand General Columbine, and there were other things that followed after Columbine. Uh, the DA is known to uh, be one who would advocate or pursue or explore the death penalty. Do you see, Richard, in this case, it being inevitable? Well, if you're going to have the death penalty, if you believe in it and it's legal, isn't this the case for it? I mean, come on. What a tragedy. What just an a, a utter disgrace and just horrific conduct here. But uh, I, I think Avery is right, Fred. In the state of Colorado, all there is is a requirement for the gun dealers to reflect the sale on the books, keep records of the sales of these types of guns. There's no registration requirement in the state of Colorado. And therefore, he legally obtained these rifles and uh, these, these, these Glocks that he had. All the equipment he had was legally obtained. So having that been the state of the law in Colorado, we're looking at actually what happened. I think that's where all the liability is going to fall. Okay. All right, movie massacre suspect James Holmes in court for the first time on Monday, uh, just a few days after opening fire, killing 12 and injuring 38 at a movie theater in Aurora, Colorado. Let's bring back our legal guys, Avery Friedman in Cleveland and Richard Herman, joining us from Austin, Texas today. So, gentlemen, we just heard from the sergeant from the Aurora Police Department about this booby trap department, what they're up against, dismantling a trip wire. That's the first phase of trying to take control of this booby trap department. But then there are other things. They've got to do a controlled a detonation, potentially. So this brings us to the legal road ahead for James Holmes. And Richard, you first on this as we find out now about the potential intent to harm maybe first responders or anyone who were to enter his apartment <coughs> building after uh, this crime unfolding at the movie theater. Uh, what does this tell you about the, the road ahead for his defense, especially when you're also hearing now that the suspect told authorities that my apartment is loaded with explosives. So if there was intent to harm first, in, first responders, then why in the world give a warning, might have had second thoughts. How does that impact his case? And Fred, not only that, he gave himself up peacefully to police despite the fact he was in full right. armor, ready to engage. So obviously this is a conflicted soul here. And as he gave himself up peacefully from the movie theater, if the DA takes off the death penalty off the table here, Fred, I'm hoping that this individual is just going to plead out, not put the families through the hell of having to go through trial on this. There is no defense to this particular case. There's no. nowhere for him to go here. This is a brutal, savage event. And the fact that he set up those booby traps, he got the gear, he purchased all that fire equipment and ammo, it shows he thought yeah, about uh, this. He reflected upon it. He planned. He intended it. It goes against every sort of defense you possibly mm -hmm. could come up with.